are in Northern California with beautiful, gorgeous beaches and mountains surrounding you, natural foliage. We're here at Point Lobos, one of my favorite spots to hike, relax, and there's tons of secret beaches, wildlife, and what I love about it is they protect the wildlife here. So there's certain areas of the park that you actually cannot go into, which I have mad respect for, and I love this place. So come and support your natural parks by paying for them so that they can stay open and enjoy for ourselves and our children and the generations to come. Hi there, I'm Alice Maples and you're watching Jimra. Today we're going to be doing a total body workout with weights. Let's get started with our warm up. All right, alternating side to side, bringing those shoulders up with your hands and alternating. Great job. Today we're gonna to be operating at about 65 to 75% of your total maximum. So you're not going all the way. These movements and exercises are meant to be done every day. So let's get down low, shake it side to side. Wonderful. Keep that chest open. And beautiful. Next, we're going to be going little pulses down low. Get it down low. Keep that chest up. Pivoting side to side. Nice. Let's get those arms nice and high here as well. So if you wanted to do a modification, you can bring it like this. Otherwise, let's get those knees high and that heart rate elevated. And beautiful. Let's begin. So let's grab your weights. You can get about Mine are about five pounds. And you can either go lighter or heavier than that, remembering that we're going 65 to 75% of your max. So we're gonna start down low with a tricep extension. So, plie squat. Two more, and beautiful. Next, we're gonna be loading up our weights on top of our, our shoulders here, and then we're gonna be going down low for a pulse. Bring it back, other side at a diagonal. Bring it up, forward step, pulse it down low, and bring it back. Wonderful. Keeping that knee behind your toe. One more each side. And excellent. Next one is gonna be a split step squat with a back fly. So it looks like this. Bringing one foot forward, the other foot back. Really low and pinch between your blades. Hold it for a second, bring it back down. Driving through the weight in that front foot, front heel. Beautiful, 
two more. And last one on this side. Then we're gonna get the other side, so other foot goes forward. So it's only about a foot or so. Hinge the hips backward, weight is in the front heel. And let's get the other side. Drawing that navel in, protecting your back. Wonderful. If it gets too heavy, you can always drop the weight. Good, one, two more. And last one. Excellent. Shake that out. Next one, we're gonna be doing a front raise with a back step lunge. Bring it, and other side. Wonderful, back step lunge. Bring it on up, nice and slow. Making the most of it. Again, if it's too heavy, you can drop the weight. Breathing the whole time. Keeping your thumbs up towards the sky. One more each side. And excellent. Next one, we're gonna get down low and just do tricep extensions. So back leg is straight now, front leg is bent, and extend on back. So keep your elbows nice and high. That's it, draw that navel in. Beautiful. those elbows high, I know it's tough. One more, and let's get the other side. And last one, excellent. We're gonna be down low now and bring your arms up and together hold it and then slow back down bring it up pinch it together at the top and slow back down pinch it slow back down we're not using momentum just using pure strength Make sure to squeeze it at the top so you get extra pec involvement, also known as your chest. Beautiful. Two more. And last one. Perfect. Next is gonna be a deadlift. Hinge it, and then expand back. Bring it forward. Squeeze, look like it's come on up. So hinge it, straight back, bring it up, and nice work. Hinge, squeeze, look like it's still here. Keep your chest up. Just two more. And last one. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna get down low, and then we're just gonna be doing overhead shoulder raises with a pec combo. So stay down low in your curtsy. Expand up, bring it back together. Again, if it's too heavy, just drop the weight and still continue. It's a hard one even without the weights. Just two more on this side. 
Last one. And beautiful. Other side. Down low. Bring it up. And wonderful. Keep those elbows high. Just two more. And last one. Beautiful. Next, we're going for a lateral kick back and bring it back. Excellent. Row and kick it back. Keep that chest up. Keep those knees behind those toes. Last one each side. Row, kick it back. And beautiful. Fantastic. Next, we're going to be bringing our knee up high and crunching it. So, we'll kind of like half shoulder presses, alternating side to side. If you wanted to drop the weights and make it a little bit more cardio, you could also do that. And excellent. Great job. Now we get to do our cool down. Fantastic work on that. Open up all the way up and then all the way down low. Beautiful sweep, the arms all the way up. And exhale, hinging from the hips round. Two more, inhaling up, and last one, beautiful. Next, you can get down low, and then shift the hips forward, maybe even get to touch the water. Breathing into your hip flexor, keeping the chest up, and then shifting it to the other side. Getting down low, bring that knee up if you want for a little extra quad stretch. Wonderful. And then if you have the flexibility, you can either stay up here or you can get down low and then open up your chest. Wonderful, and then the other side. Last one. Interlace those hands behind the back, lift it up, and then you can hinge forward. Beautiful. Great job. You did an excellent work today. I'm Alice Maples, and you're watching Gemra. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your workout. See you next time.